And going from our physical health to our mental health to um, food, I'd like to introduce Harv Singh. He's the general manager of our farmer's market. And, and I think the reason I was excited is that the farmer's market um, meets over at the city center on Saturday mornings. And that was a common place that we would all gather and buy our fresh produce and other kinds of products. And with this COVID crisis became a difficult model to contain. And so what they've done, which is really exciting, is people can go online at their website, order their food, head on over and we'll have it put in the car for them. And they, uh, we advertised that last week. They got a little overwhelmed, but Harv, tell us about what you're doing and uh, how you're preparing for this weekend. Yeah, I wish I wish I would have known you guys were going to promote that because we did we did get a little overwhelmed and we're really excited to serve um, our community obviously in this time of, of COVID crisis and it's a very popular service uh, curbside pickup launched last week and um, we'll be a little bit more prepared moving forward. Yesterday we had to kind of shut off the shopping cart early because we again got overwhelmed uh, balancing the inventory of what. Uh, from our regular shoppers because the market is open during this time as well and then kind of balancing our own inventory uh, So we worked with the uh, city center Bishop Ranch and securing uh, a spot where we could do proper staging um, Have some efficiency. So now we'll be really able to double orders and, and kind of meet the demand uh, So we're, we're excited to do that. But curbside is is a really easy convenient way you shop online uh, you get to support local growers, local food, local businesses, um, and you pay online, and then you come and pick it up on Saturday. It's kind of like a drive-through. It's contactless. Um, some people, um, you know, they just pop the trunk open, it opens, and we come in with our gloves and face mask, and we put, put the product in uh, the trunk, and, and off they go. It's kind of a drive-through. Uh, some people, you know, they park and get out and come get their goods, but for the most part, it's it's an easy way. There's plenty of space there to, to drive up and. What are the products that you're selling? Oh okay, God, we're, you know, the number one selling product right now because it's coming into season is strawberries. Uh, we have organic strawberries uh, from local farms that come from uh, Watsonville, it's called Medina Farms. That's probably the highest, but we sell a great amount of local produce. A lot of requests for certified uh, um, uh, organic and local stuff. Um, and then I have to explain sometimes, you know, just because it's not certified organic, some of these are really small local growers that just can't afford uh, the, uh, the cost of being certified organic, but they farm organically. Um, so, but yeah, we have all of, all of the local produce, seasonal produce, organic items, pasture raised meats are really popular uh, with Victorian farmstead meats coming from Sonoma, uh, dairy. Hey. Dairy, eggs, eggs pasture raised eggs, dairy, milk, whipping cream, half and half. Um, uh, breads? Breads, starter bakery. And soon we're going to turn on uh, some of our local Danville uh, bakeries that, that used to come to the market, but now with curbside. And that's another thing is, you know, some of the vendors who didn't want to participate or for whatever reason, for safety reasons, now they could just drop off and still participate on our online cart. So our online cart is going to grow and evolve with, with the product selection, vendor selection, you know, with the improving our efficiencies and we'll be able to meet the demand. And the other thing I, I wanna say is that we are a little overwhelmed right now, but uh, uh, the senior population is a huge population for us and we're very um, sensitive uh, to serving them, especially at risk seniors, elderly and COVID uh, risk. So we are gonna start next week offering free delivery to seniors. Uh, that are at risk, that can't quite make it to the market, or you know, for whatever reason, uh, we are building a dedicated uh, group of volunteers that will take on delivery for us on Saturdays. So that's another thing I would like to say. If anybody would like to volunteer for this program, uh, we certainly welcome it. And we have a group of volunteers right now, but we could always use more. So your website address? Is uh, sanramonefarmersmarket.org. And uh, the shopping cart right now is disabled. It's password protected because we're gonna turn it on again uh, on Sunday. Uh, so the cutoff for ordering is Thursdays and then uh, you can for Saturday pick up. So we'll turn it on again on Sunday. And then uh, I, I would suggest shop early uh, because uh, things do run out, uh, but we'll continue to improve 
and to meet the demand. And, and we're, we're, this is exciting for us. It's a new, new avenue, uh, but um, it's working and it's, and it's just a really great service. Thank you very much. So shop early starts Sunday, yeah. cut off is on Thursday, and um, delivery is still in process in terms of actually having to come on board. Yeah. And you're thinking sometime in the future on a Thursday model being reopened, but that is still in the future? Yeah, we were supposed to re have a grand opening at City Center uh, on Thursdays starting April 2nd. So we, we pushed it back. Uh, we just wanted to um, obey the, you know, the, the Contra Costa Health Services mandate, uh, shelter at home. We wanted to see how that would play out. We're beginning to see more and more customers with safety precautions in place, face mask gloves, uh, come out to the shop, uh, to the market and, and, and shop. And we have all the safety precautions in place, social distancing, all of that. So um, for the most part, so it, it's growing in popularity and people are asking us to reopen that Thursday market. Uh, which has been going on at City Center for, for more than seven years. So by next month, you can probably expect a Thursday market and we'll go into twice a week for curbside pickup as well. Great. Arv, thank you so much. Really appreciate all your hard work and the long hours you're putting in. Yeah, I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you for the partnership.